Yes, sir. It's your boy Des, and I'm back with a bang as usual. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and like and sub. But for me, if you old, you already know what's going on. You feel? Anyways, um, not gonna be a long video. Y'all know I don't make like um like long videos, or whatever. But today I'm gonna be showing y'all boys how to do putback dunks. So uh, starting off, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all like the badges setup that you need for putback dunks and the best stats that you feel me you can do it with. So um, I'm gonna go to my progression. I'm on my glass cleaning finisher right now. Um, as far as putback layups, it really doesn't matter too much what your layup is. You can do putback layups on pretty much any build. I've done it on play shots, sharps. Don't really matter for layups. Um, as far as dunks, I'm pretty sure to be able to do putback dunks, you need at least minimum uh, 85 driving dunk. Pretty sure it's 85. 84, 85. So, um, if you don't got an 84, 85, I don't think you can do putback dunks. Don't quote me on it. Do your own research. But from what I know, and like, I pretty much made over 20 builds, 30 builds in the past, like two, three years. So I say 85. Um, anyways, nothing else really matters other than your, for dunks. We're talking about dunks now. We already passed layups to do a um, putback dunk. At least an 85 driving dunk and I would say have you need at least decent rebounding because rebounding is gonna play a part and you going up to grab the ball before you can dunk it you feel so uh really I don't really have a t like a certain rebound that you need I see at least a 70 maybe so like you feel me I won't snag that board before you try to do a putback dunk so uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave from here like I said 85 minimum for uh, for driving dunk Rebounding at least decent. I say around 70 range So um, for the badges that you're gonna need I Was on the ones court, so this is kind of switched up right now, but we're gonna go ahead and switch it back um, You need put back boss minimum Bronze You're not gonna be able to do a put back dunk without even having this on bronze period That's was like this badges was gonna activate it. So you can get the animations for the putback dunks or whatever. So I normally run this on gold. Another thing that'll also help out, go ahead and make sure you put on rebound chaser at minimum. Once again, bronze. I'm a big man, so I got it on gold. But these two badges, rebound chaser and putback boss, at least bronze is what you need requirements you feel me for uh to be able to do put back dunks at least bronze on put back boss and rebound chaser that's just gonna make it a whole lot easier so um after that you feel me i showed y'all the badges and the attributes you need so we gonna go to this clip real quick mind you i got plenty of clips i'm just gonna show y'all one because you feel me what's the point of me showing y'all multiple clips just to do a put back dunk excuse me y'all all right, so um, I, I'm a okay. So pretty much in this clip right here, my teammate is gonna shoot from the corner in the left side. You feel me? So once he shoots, the range that you're gonna wanna be in is pretty much as soon as the ball gets anywhere near the rim, you wanna make sure you're inside that red painted area and ready for the oop, or at least run into that red painted area. You feel me? So um. You see he shot me already you feel me knowing what to do and reading it i like once you get used to the timing you'll learn how to read it a lot better but already as like you feel me my job as a big man i'm automatically gonna go to cut to the paint for that board anyway so it just automatic instinct so he shoots you feel me it's a late uh, that that right there lets me know that i need to crash for that board regardless so you're gonna see as it hits the rim like I said, as soon as it starts getting close to that rim, you need to be in that paint. For running, oops. Like, I was kind of running on this one. But I'm talking about, like, if you just running down court on a fast break, your teammate chuck up a shot and you want to just dunk that back down real quick. Come in a little bit, like, a little bit slower, you feel me? But, um, as soon as that ball gets anywhere near that rim, you need to be inside that paint. And then, as soon as you, oh, wait, I skipped a little too fast. A little too fast. Okay, so he's gonna shoot. 
Oh wait, I'm, I'm just gonna play it regular. Okay, he's gonna shoot. I ain't editing nothing out. You feel me? Just, just raw. So um, he's gonna shoot. I run towards the paint. Once I run to the paint, as soon as the ball bounces off the rim, you're gonna on, on PlayStation. I forgot what the button is on uh, Xbox, but on PlayStation you're gonna press Square, which is pretty much a shoot button. It's the same on both consoles. You feel me? So uh, as soon as that ball bounces upward, mind you, the ball has to bounce upward. I've been able to get it maybe a couple times after it bounced off the side of the rim over the side of the backboard or something like that, but that's very rare. The best and most consistent animation is when it bounces straight up off the rim. So as soon as it bounces straight up the rim, you're going to go ahead and press shoot the shoot button, which is square on PlayStation. You feel me? Like I said, I don't know what it is on Xbox. And then that's pretty much it. It's just all about time, remember? You see, he shot. I read it late. Uh, came in as soon as that ball bounced up you're gonna go to press the shoot button and you're gonna duck it back down I'm gonna show y'all that one more time full speed appreciate y'all for, for coming to check out the video man anyways this was Dez and how you get uh, put back dunks y'all boys thanks for coming to check out the video man